So how's that, guys? On this Tuesday, I am on a mood. I'm on a mood to really be inspiring other people. I was actually saying earlier on to the goggles in the, in the space that actually when I'm in a space of deep sadness or deep joy, I actually get inspiration. And what it taught me or what, what then awakened or what I realized is actually these emotions, both of them are valid. They're just two sides of the same coin. Because the truth of the matter is that sometimes we just want to be on the one and not on the other. How do you know joy is because you've experienced sadness? How do you know joy is because you've experienced uh, sadness? And how do you know sadness is because you've experienced joy? So to be able to feel both makes you be appreciative of the moment, makes you appreciative of the feeling that exists. Because every, each feeling has got a message for you. It's going to be teaching you something. So we're talking truths now. Truths about African spiritual healing, the journey of Bungo. So the first truth I want you to know is that African spiritual healing is complex because you are dealing with a spiritual world that is vibrating in its own frequency. And you are dealing with a spiritual world that not only is it your own ancestor, ancestral spiritual world but it could be a world that is interlinked and intertwined with another family's ancestral understanding that makes things much more easier for you because it will build on the things that have been encouraging you to do patience perseverance endurance tenacity and so forth is to un is to understand that the truth of the matter is that you will not always get what you are seeking so that you might actually have to go through a multiple streams and a multiple form and different types and different healing interventions interventions before you can actually come to a place of awakening and come to a place of clarity another truth is that Ubungoma on its own has multiple facets of different types of initiation that it is important for you to understand which one are you called to what how do you know your dreams, as I always say, are a big tell sign. The type of things you see in your dreams are telling of the type of gift in which you've been gifted with. The truth of the matter is that it is going to be very difficult and challenging for you to get to a place of realization, awakening, of walking towards your path of being a healer or heading your calling if you have no one that you are working with. You need some sort of some spiritual advisor spiritual mentor, spiritual guider, to help you dissect and make sense of the things that you're dreaming, the visions that you're seeing, the feelings that you're feeling, the voices that you're hearing. You need somebody who understands the language of spirit in order for you to understand what is it spirit telling you and what is spirit guiding you towards. The truth of the matter is that even though you have that particular person, they also might be limited because like I said on the first truth that African spiritual, actually spirituality in general, it's very complicated and complex because things are forever changing and things are forever evolving. You might be working with an army of ancestors that come through, diff who have been through different centuries. You might be working with the spirits that has reincarnated more than once. You might be working with spirits that never ever reincarnated, that lived in a particular era in the 1800s and do not resonate with what's going on in, the, in, in this 21st century. And that to match the two worlds, might take time and it might be tiring sometimes and it might be depleting but the truth of the matter is what you put in is what you get out the truth of the matter is that it looks dirty sometimes or it might be gloomy or it might be dark as you have been taught as you have been educated from where you come from that the truth of the matter is that your belief system plays an incremental role of how you perceive what you've been gifted with and that where you need to begin might be changing your paradigm you might be changing that mindset of negativity because what you plant is what you reap when you go at it as a curse as a burden as something that is heavy on you what you might actually produce might be more heaviness the truth of the matter is yes some of us make it look easy we make it look glamorous we make it look wonderful but it is still messy and in the messiness sometimes you have to get your hands dirty to dig out the gold of the gift which you've been gifted with and in the digging out of that you might break a nail or two and it will cause pain 
The truth of the matter is that when you start owning yourself and you start walking on your path and on your lane, you're going to have people on the side road cheering you, supporting you, showing you love, telling you you are courageous, telling you you are inspiring them. But the truth of the matter is that there'll be other people on the side of the road who don't give a damn. And the truth of the matter is it is okay. And there'll be those who are your critics that will criticize you, will see wrong in every single thing that you're doing, that you will never be good enough in, in, irrespective of how much you try to show that your intentions are good. And the reason you're doing the work that you're doing is so that you can be better within self. It is not to use the gift to be manipulating others. It's not to use the gift to do other people harm. The truth of the matter is that some of those people that you attract when you walk the path of being a healer or when you are in the path of healing is that those people are people you've had past life experiences with through your ancestral lineage. Those people might be people that your people have betrayed before, people that your people might have had before, people that your people might have caused harm before, that in them being who they are and what they are, they are seeking peace for their own people. But it is not your responsibility to heal them. They need to recognize it for themselves. The truth of the matter is that many of us might seek healing, but we might be seeking it from a one-way dimensional, that sometimes the truth of the matter is that where we need to start is healing what is troubling us in our emotions, what is troubling us in our minds, before we might want our spirit to be grounded and aligned so we can actually be in line and our ability to thrive can be higher. Because the truth of the matter is you're going to get betrayed. You're going to get cheated on. You're going to be lied to. Truth of the matter is what you see in people sometimes is not who they are. People wear masks all the time. The truth of the matter is you're going to encounter psychopaths. You're going to encounter people with psychological personality things that you have not ever even experienced. People with deep wounds and deep scars. But what they present to you is perfection. It's humility and humbleness. You will encounter sheep. You will encounter, I mean, wolves in sheepskin. And truth of the matter that sometimes it is not about you. Truth of the matter is that sometimes it is about what they are going through. Truth of the matter is that no matter how much work, energy, effort you put in healing people, no matter how innovative or creative you can travel through the corners of the world trying to find healing, trying to find expertise to try help somebody whom you deeply care for or that you have worked with because when you are a healer, it is in it in you to see somebody be better because that's what healing is, to make better what is not made better. That no matter what you do, it might not work. Because truth of the matter is you'll never know everything as a healer. Truth of the matter is that you can be a master at something, but not a master of everything. Truth of the matter is be okay with what and who you are. Truth of the matter is be enough in yourself. Truth of the matter is you're going to make mistakes. I said it in the peace thing. As you try and attempt to do healing. Truth of the matter is the fact that you will make mistakes that might cost you a lot of things. But get up. Stand up. And look up. And move forward. Truth of the matter is that when you're in going into the spiritual journey, there's a lot of things you need to let go of. Things that are going to be holding you back because when you come into a journey such as this one that requires you to summit mountains, you cannot be carrying unnecessary baggage because it's going to slow you down. And truth of the matter is that some of those things are, might be people you dearly care and love, but they might not love you enough to accept you as what you are becoming. Because love that is unconditional doesn't cease when things change and they become different. Truth of the matter is Ubumboma is not just about Ingoma. It's not just about music, drumming and dancing and singing and talking and teaching. Truth of the matter is that there's a lot that goes behind the scenes that you might not see, that you might only understand when you get there. Truth of the matter is 
you matter. What are you going to do about it? What is the action you need to take? Because truth of the matter, at the end of the day, it's only you, yourself, and I. So you look at yourself, 